it's so important today to define the difference between coaching and therapy because I think that there is a big misunderstanding between these two uh, terms. Can you tell me? Yes. I, first of all, coaching is new, which is part of the problem is people don't really understand what coaching actually is. When we look at therapy, which has been around for a very long time, therapy is really dealing with the past, dealing with trauma you've had as a child or growing up. At, at, coming to grips with how you feel about certain things or why do you feel that way. And a lot of people feel better when they understand that, why their parents did something. And I think it's really important part of society is having a therapist, having somebody that can work with you. But coaching on the other hand is a very different perspective in that we are looking forward. As a coach, you can't really have something if you don't really know what it looks like. So what we do as coaches is really help people to see the future, to have clarity on what they really want so that they can have it. That's the way the brain works, is when you have clarity, you start to achieve it. So they really have two different functions in society. A lot of people think, oh, a coach is like a therapist. We're not like a therapist at all, in that we're not looking backward. We might talk about it for a minute, but what we really want to do is help a person see what they want, start to move toward that. And a lot of times, not that it can replace therapy, but it can kind of let those feelings of the past go, because we're really looking at what do you want? So therapy is looking backward. Coaching is looking forward. I think they both have value in our society growing up. And people really need to understand the difference. And I think you're right. There's not real clarity around what is the difference. So I'm hoping that helps people understand that.